Goal at the London Stadium! Oh, oh, oh. I am, I tell I you am what, so sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt your wonderful saying here, Quaku, but how about this for a scoreline? It's West Ham 1, Manchester United 0. Julian Lopetegui has come in for some big criticism this season, but he made three changes at half time. One of the plays that came off the bench was Somerville, and after 73 minutes, Somerville has made it. West Ham 1, Manchester United 0. And I would say one thing. I know Eric Ten Hag gets stick. I know he's... Oh, and a chance for Newcastle. Oh, he's actually has scored. A ball gets played Got on the left-hand side. Isak gets up, but it's cleared off the line. Uh, the West Ham goal is really, really good play down the right-hand side. Jared Bowen with the ball in. Danny Ings also just off the bench. The ball gets played to Danny Ings from a Bowen cross. Ings mishits the shot. Looks like he's rolling out for a goal kick. But Somerville does really, really well really to read well. it. Slide in and put the ball in the back of the net. Manchester United should have been out of sight at half-time. They battered, and I mean absolutely battered West Ham. <laughs> they hit the woodwork. They missed an open goal. Fernandez missed a sitter. You don't take your chances in this league. You will get punished. West Ham won. Manchester United nil. Good play from Bowen to pick out Danny Ings, who scuffs his shot. Bit of luck for West Ham. It falls to Somerville. And we all know, guys, Man United lose this game. We all know what the headlines are going to be tomorrow morning with Manchester United 13th in the table. There's been rumours in the week of more managers being spoken to by Ineos. More pressure on Ten Hag, guys. Yeah, more pressure on Ten Hag. And I know certain Man United fans and Jamie, the producer, in my ear saying it's not Ten Hag's fault. But this is, a, this is consistently happening. Manchester United cannot put away chances. If they can't put away chances, there's, sli there's clearly a disconnect there in terms of the communication, in terms of the messaging. There's something not working. Because Manchester United, they do create a lot of chances. They can't put the ball in the back of the net. And this has happened multiple times this to season. To be fair, quick, I would say, I'm, you know, I haven't done the show for the last six weeks. I'm not a Ten Hag fan. Yeah. But to be fair, it's not his fault, Dallow miss an open goal is it it's not his that. fault that literally Fernandez missed a chance from six yards out they should have been out of sight he's not the time. one on the pitch is he I understand that it's not and I'm not, a ten, I'm not defending Ten Hag I'm not a Ten Hag fan but that, I would say that yeah. in this game this has been down to bad missed chances for Manchester United 100% and, but then how do you rectify that situation because because Th th there's only one person that can go here, right? You're not going to yeah. sack 11, 12, 13, 14 players. The manager's the one thing, the one variable that can sure. change and hopefully make a As a manager, a it's always your fault. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, the the, the, the onus is, is on you. And this is the West Ham side. Let's not forget, without their best player, Mohamed Kudus, who's serving the three match, match suspension, if they manage to hold on, which looks unlikely with a corner that's come in, it's fallen to the edge of the box, Garnacho, can he get the ball back in? Snuffed out by the West Ham defence. This is a Manchester United team, that, or a West Ham team, without their best player, and this is a huge, huge result for them if they can hold on at the London Stadium because West Ham, we do know the fans can turn. And if they would have lost against the Man United team at home, oh, then this, this match could have got very, very toxic or the atmosphere could have got very, very toxic. But as it stands, West Ham are in for a huge, huge three points Another on Sunday Another chance there, though, for Manchester United. A ball whipped in from the uh, left-hand side. Garnett, um, it was Hoyland who got up. Mm. Uh, the keeper was in no man's land, but Hoyland just couldn't direct his head of goalwards. Martinez now with the ball across goal, but looks like, again, uh, West Ham are going to clear their line. So it's West Ham 1, Manchester United 0, Chrysincho Somerville with the goal for West Ham. 76 minutes played there. Ooh. United have scored. Yeah, a goal at the London Stadium. Manchester United score. And I have to say, they absolutely deserve this. Casemiro with the goal. He heads home from close range. There was a good header back across the goal from the left-hand side after a ball into the box. And Casemiro does really, really well to divert his header goalwards and into the back of the net. Casemiro scored. West Ham won. Manchester United won. Um, it was a diagonal ball into the back post. And to be fair, Maz Rowry does really, really well to head it back across goal. Jerksy flicks it on. And Casemiro is there to head in. And to be fair to Manchester United, that's exactly what they deserve. Uh, West Ham 1, Manchester United 1. Now, they are checking for a penalty at the London Stadium. Danny Ings went down under a challenge in the box. Let's have a little look at a replay and see if this is a penalty. He went down for a long, long time. He was holding his... He was holding his leg. We're going to have to wait and see and have a look on our screen uh, to see a replay. While we do that, I'll tell you it's still Chelsea 2, Newcastle 1. Um, Alexander Isak, though, has missed a big, big chance. And at the London Stadium, they have gone over to have a look at this potential oh, penalty. It. it was Danny Ings who wants it. Let's have a look. Nah. Ooh. It's De Lip who goes in to... That's not a penalty, nah. is it? Oh, the ball bounces in the box. Nah. Ings He's comes in it. onto it. And it looks like, to me... That he almost just runs into, He's gone into looking for that. But the referee's... I don't think it was given, was it, originally? No, so, so the referee's gone over. The referee's obviously been sent over 
to have a look for me it looks to me as Ings comes onto a bouncing ball in the box it looks like he almost throws himself into De Ligt. that's ridiculous or does De Ligt catch him Kwaku I, I think guys what are we thinking the, 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 the referee needs to Never. see a different angle though because they're only showing one angle and you see it from the other side but that doesn't look like a penalty to me but he's checking it for a long time main life fight of players are protesting the lick saying that that ings dived and it kind of looks like it i don't know whether they're gonna give well it here we not. go what's gonna happen the referee always oh, giving that's a penalty that's wow. ridiculous that's i tell you that's what poor. Unless, is, unless we're seeing they're seeing something totally yeah. different we need to see a different are. angle yeah because that, 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 that need to see what they're seeing var told referee that david Coote like to that. go to the monitor and have a look danny ing is going down under the lich challenge Coote had a good long lick a long uh, look of this two minutes of normal time remain this could be huge for me the ball bounces oh, in the box come on. No way. do you know what I, there's contact the lit makes a little bit of contact with ings as ings comes onto the ball I think it's a little bit harsh, guys. It is harsh. harsh. It's harsh. But exactly. this is what happens when you don't kill games. For Man United, you can only control the variables that you can. In the first half, you needed to put the ball in the back of the net. Ten Hag has consistently said Manchester United are struggling to score goals. That should not be an issue of theirs. More pressure on them. Yeah. It's a penalty kick I can't believe for West Ham. We are Ridiculous. still waiting and waiting and waiting Ridiculous. for this to be taken. Um, I don't know, I, I, especially because it wasn't given on field. It then got it then got sent over. I mean, some people might say he was a little bit clumsy. There was a little bit of contact. We're having once again a looking at a replay. I also think Man United are not happy. I think they think nah, that as the ball comes into... Happy. I think also what United are unhappy about, as the league gets challenged... I think the ball hits Danny Ings yeah, on the arm. Because yeah, I've seen a few Man United players almost more protesting at maybe the handball as well as the penalty not be given. I think they think it hits Ings on the arm as he sort of goes in for the challenge. So there's lots and lots to get through. For me, it's one of those where not given on pitch. I'd be happy for this to stay not as a penalty. De Ligt is not happy. Mate, I tell you what, this is where I think referees have to deal with things better. This where the, on the stage, this is where things get really messy. Man United now have been playing for about three minutes and we're still waiting and waiting and waiting for the penalty to be given. This is where the referee has to just book players. If you want to moan, you want to complain, book them. We're waiting and waiting and waiting. You're killing oh, the game here. Mm. But it is indeed a penalty kick uh, for Man United. Are we all saying there's not a penalty? Never yeah, a penalty. I, I don't think it's a penalty. I would love to sit here and laugh at Manchester United because he in the last minute, 12 minutes at a time as well. Wow. Um, I would love to sit here and laugh at Manchester United and say, yeah, that was a penalty. But come on, man. I think Let's it's be so soft. That, that's ridiculous. not a pen. That's not a pen. Jared Bowen has the ball on the spot. This was Dub Del Sacco, Lopetegui <laughs> versus Ten Hag. <laughs> if this ball goes into the back of the net, it would be a huge three points for Lopetegui and West Ham. It'd be back to back home wins. And goodness me, it would absolutely put the pressure. On Ten oh, Hag, Jared Bowen steps up. Jared Bowen scores. Onana goes the right way, but Jared Bowen puts the ball into the back of the net. Onana went to his left. It goes straight into the bottom corner. And I tell you what, Kwaku Afari, relief for Lopetegi. And for Ten Hag, the pressure mounts. The pressure does mount. And we thought Man United could have turned the corner. Results in recent weeks. But that is a dagger at the death. I say at the death, we've still got another 10, got half an hour 10, left, 10, 10 11 minutes to go. <laughs> but yeah, well taken penalty from Jared Bowen. De Ligt is still protesting. He thinks it's harsh. We think it's harsh. May United now have a big, big job to do to salvage a point in this game as opposed to chasing three. Um, so no matter the way you look at it, May United will have dropped points this weekend unless they can turn things around in a dramatic fashion at the London Stadium. But the pressure does mount on Eric Ten Hag, but when has the pressure not been on Ten yeah. Hag over exactly. the last 18 months? It's can, been... can you blame Ten Hag for this performance, for them not finishing their chances and giving a penalty no, that is very, very contentious? Not specifically not for isolated. Today, well, yeah. but this is a continuous theme yeah. now. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.